official launch of BBI Report has added more lyrics to the BBI reggae tune that has for the last two years been playing in undertones. Among us, the gains made from the report is the increase in revenue allocation to counties from the current 15% to 35%, a move that has been well received by the Council of Governors, the main custodians of the county cash. In 2013, when we were campaigning in my county of Mandera, we could not find vehicles to hire for purposes of campaign. Today, there is traffic jam in Mandera town, courtesy of devolution. <laughs> You can just imagine what 35% can do for areas that were, were previously considered marginalized. To the Kwa, to Mependekesa, Iwe Arubaine Natan. Lakin to Mepata Salasin Natan, to Mesema Ongera. The creation of the Prime Minister's position, the main recommendation in the report that is likely to dominate the political arena, has been spearheaded to ensure inclusivity and do away with the winner-takes-it-all mentality. I want to thank these gentlemen because they are trying to address themselves to those issues. Because until we do, our politics will consistently be negative. And we want to change that cycle so that our politics can be positive driven. It is not about making Uhuru Kenyatta a prime minister or Raila Odinga a president. And Raila Odinga has never declared, and I want to tell the standard newspaper, anyway, that he wants to run for presidency in 2022. That is not why we brought this. On the other hand, youth-owned enterprises in the country will enjoy a seven-year tax break if a proposal by the Building Bridges Initiative report sinks through. There is no solution to the youth except guarantee to decent employment. And that decent employment is in a strong economy. And that explains why as a labor movement, we were very passionate in campaigning for a handshake even before elections in two, 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 2017. The report released equally recommends stiffer penalties to economic crime offenders. It proposes legislative changes to make all wealth declaration forms open to public scrutiny and ban public officials from doing business with the government. The document equally advocates for the increase in representation of women. The steering committee was struck by the deep and widespread feeling of exclusion and marginalization among women of Kenya who felt that mainstream sociocultural and political arrangements prevent them from fully accessing their rights under the constitution. BBI imezungumzia ya kwamba katika nafasi ya ugavana, gavana ana akiwa mwanamke naibu wake atakuwa mwanamume hivyo basi jambo hili litaweza kutupatia ngazi sisi kama kina mama wa taifa la Kenya tuweze kupata hatua ya kuingia katika uongozi wa ugavana katika kaunti zetu vile vile katika seneta sasa hivi tulikuwa tu na masenesa wateuliwa 16 na wale watatu tu wachache waliochaguliwa lakini sasa tutapata sauti ya kina mama waliochaguliwa kikura watakao kuwa na haki ya kupiga kura pale katika bunge la seneti na kuweza kufanya maamuzi ya kuhusu mambo ya county government zetu pale mashinani the head of state has since cautioned the political class against trivializing the document and encouraged them to show statesmanship by constructively discussing proposals contained in the document. Dana Rose, K24.